Hey yo, it's me, Harper Savage, and today I'm going to be trying out Sharpie's Creative Marker line. They all they are water-based acrylic markers. I have what I believe is a full set of brush markers, and I only have black and white in the bullet ones because I was originally after the brush ones. This is all I could find for a long time. Like, stores had spots for all the creative markers, but they didn't have them in except for like this one in Walmart. It was the only one I found at the time. Because they're just that popular, I guess? I don't know. You know what? I finally got my hands on them. Let's get into using them and see what the hype is all about. So no prepping or priming needed. So that's like one of the things that people complain about other acrylic markers is the activating them. I know I wasn't a fan of the brush markers I've done before. It was just really hard on my hands, so. Uh, before I finish opening this all the way, I just wanted to say that I see you, Sharpie, with the Rainbow Order. That's why we like you. Let's ruin it. Not only is it Rainbow Order, but they also put the pink at the end like I do. Now, I don't think that's an uncommon thing. It's just, you know, pink is a form of red, but I feel like it just looks better at the end. Anyways, something I noticed right off the bat is the bullet tips are significantly thicker than the brush ones. So I'm wondering if the brush ones are going to run out of their ink quicker. But let's take a look at the bullet first. And it looks like a, like just a large Sharpie tip to me. Let's go ahead and compare it to their normal, what they call fine tip, but it's a bullet tip. All right, I just grabbed the closest one. <laughs> All right, so here is the size difference between their fine point and their create bullet point. And you know, it does look significantly bigger. Also, I smelled it just now and it has a faint smell, but nothing serious. Also, it passes the cap test because the cap stays on the end there. And it's, it feels really light. And I guess it's just because it doesn't have the marble or whatever in it to shake the paint inside. Let's take a look at these brush ones now because I'm super curious about it and I got on me already so that's cool oh so this is actually like a nib and not in a brush like the Posca markers we tried already and it has this transparent case here I guess it's so you can see the ink I don't know because I haven't used these yet but it reminds me a lot of like a pen I used to have where you could see into the barrel right there so I wonder if it's going to help us indicate whether or not it's clogged or empty. But now what we've all been waiting for is the swatches and the feeling of these markers. I just grabbed my Canton Mixed Media paper. Well, let's go ahead and swatch. The first thing I noticed is that the bullet tips are actually flexible. That's cool for like hand lettering. I'm not a hand letter artist, so it won't necessarily be useful to me in that way, but I'm sure it appeals to a lot of people. So let's go ahead and do the brushes now. Oh, wow. Ahead and I skipped over the black and white for the brushes because I'm assuming they look the same and you can't see white anyways but I don't know Sharpie's official color names and I believe they do have them but they never put them on the barrels or anything like I know when I got gray one time it's like what it's barcode actually said it was like space gray or like something like that so I'm a little hesitant to name these two if it's not right, but I feel like that one's probably turquoise and that one's like teal. But my first impression is I absolutely love them so far. Um, they dry matte, which is very typical for a paint marker. 
and they're super juicy unlike the Posca ones where I am going to compare them a lot to the Posca brush pens that I recently reviewed because the, that's all I have to compare them to. I've never used these type of brush markers before until the Posca ones and they're not the same <laughs> at all. So these are super juicy. I do wonder how long they are going to last though because I do feel like they're quite small. But well, I guess we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them up on black paper now so we can see how opaque they are. If you're curious, this is also a Canson paper. I'm just going to swatch these real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and swatched it on my black paper here. Here is one coat versus two. And, you know, the second coat really does help. But I feel like that's true for like all of the acrylic marker brands out there. So I don't know if it's even worth mentioning here. I do feel like the gray and the white are very similar. Like I think the gray should be a little bit darker in my opinion, or maybe a little more blue, something to make it more obviously different than the white. Like I just feel like they're too similar. On the black, these actually look kind of like pastelish to me. Uh, that could just be a result of it being a matte finish, though, because I feel like whenever something is matte, it's a little bit more dull. But I really like how like they look. Also, I want to talk about dry time because I know what the dry time is now. It's a few seconds. Um, as you can see, I literally just did this before I started talking and it's still a little bit wet, but it is going to be dry in a matter of seconds because I went and did the second coat almost as soon as I was done with the bottom one here. I also want to take note on the white paper. It did not bleed through at all. And I feel like typically acrylic markers don't bleed through, but I just wanted to say that just in case you've had a bad experience with acrylic markers bleeding. Now I want to go ahead and maybe do other tests here like I'm curious do they blend together or do they not because I feel like some of these acrylic markers don't actually blend very well together and also I want to test out if colors will go over each other and I'll do that with the bullets and I think these are the same formula so it won't really matter if I use the bullets or the brush so I do see some potential for blending, but I'm going to say it's probably not super likely because it's making the paper already kind of like pill up. Let's see how long it takes to clean the marker too. And it does not take long. So that's nice at least. And let's see how opaque it will be. Oh my God. Well, it goes over just fine. <laughs> All right, that answers that. Uh, so far, I really do like how these feel and the nibs are pretty smooth feeling too. I feel like the Poscas kind of don't feel as nice, in my opinion, because uh, their nibs are harder because of the... I'm guessing it's because of the activation functionality of it. So these nibs are very nice and flexible. Uh, and again, there's no priming and there's no activating, so that's a plus for me. Now, with all this knowledge we've obtained, I think it's time for us to do an artwork. Let's do it!
All right, so here I am all done. Uh, I really am in love with these. I'm super impressed. I will say that my green was a little bit patchy, but like I put a third coat on and it and I colored in a different direction and it seemed to have cleared that up. The yellow, that's four coats there and I could still see the green through it. So I don't know, the white and the yellow are a bit more transparent than the rest of them. But I feel like that's pretty common when it comes to paints and those two colors specifically. So I'm kind of used to it <laughs> is what I'm getting at here. I kind of just want to get the full set of these too because I really liked how these worked with the flexible nib and everything. I think they'd be really great for hand lettering whereas these are really good for like coloring in big areas. I don't think it's necessary to have both sets, but I think I would definitely be interested in getting both. Another thing is I think we, you know, need way more colors and I know Sharpie is capable of doing that because they have a huge collection. I like have the whole collection. So I know that there are more colors than just this in Sharpie's permanent line. So I'm hoping someday they'll come out with more colors. I really like these. These are great for if you want to do like poly colors and soul shading. I don't think they'll blend that fantastically. But yeah, that is going to be it for me today. If you want to check out another video where I try out other paint markers, you can go ahead and tap the thumbnail here. If you want to catch up on anything you missed, you can go ahead and tap the thumbnail here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to do all the cool YouTube things of comment, liking, and subscribing, and turning on that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.